Hey, Dawson, that's all smart, right? Oh, yeah, that is better on there, isn't it? I haven't I, seen that. You've got it all in here instead. That's 100 tons better, isn't it? Yeah. It's nicer with the tin as well, rather than the plastic on that 8S. Yeah, it's plastic, it isn't it? Like, it Smarter tall. with that. The batteries are back under the steps again on Peggy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a better option, isn't it? It's another day. Get that open. Eee. We love these old doors. These old doors were the best doors man to me. I don't know why, it's just nice being able to, you know, daylight today where it's not uh, not so hot and uh, you don't need the air con. It's just nice to have it open. Me and Keith, I think Carl's here as well. Carl's, uh, Carl's started to uh, pick up some of his solage. The, uh, that field did all right actually. That one did um, 175 the first time and then it did 138 the second time. Whereas our one, which is this one here, coal needed a bit more silage, so coal's gonna have that one. We uh, we silaged this one in the end, it rained on it. It rained on it yesterday and um, yeah, we just thought, sod it, it's good. It, it, it knocks the quality down and uh, it might as well go silage it. We needed a bit more silage anyway. So that's what it went as. We only had, what did we have out there? 204, so we're, we're 100 bales down off first cut, but still, still a fair crop out there. It's still gonna be some picking up to do. We had 308 the first time. Uh, so yeah, me and Keith here at it. It's, um, it's a bit of a dull, gloomy day, showers about. Uh, we still got hay down. That's gonna be some cow hay now. We'll, uh, we'll get that dry. It's gonna be better in the next few days. So we'll go over there, round bale that up. It's tricky, the forecast isn't brilliant. You've got a couple more good days and then more showers. So we're holding off with the mowers for a little bit. We're gonna wait for something a bit more settled before we start mowing. It's a bit tricky because we're only halfway there and within three or four weeks, the combine will be out and the, uh, we'll be starting to combine the crops. We've been out hay making in September before. It's not, it's not really, an issue for us. It's just going to be an issue for um, having staff to do combining and haymaking at the same time. That's where it comes a bit tricky, but either way, we'll, uh, we'll get it done one way or the other. You know, if we have to only run one baler to do the rest of the haymaking, that's what we'll do. Um, it, we'll, uh, we'll get around it either way. Ideally, we'd like to crack on with the haymaking now if we could. We've got a load of nice, nice hay in the shed, uh, so we've had a good start. The fields that we got down now they're only going to be cow hay now, so we'll round bale those up. They'll probably get put in a stack outside. We seen it last year. We put a stack of hay out there last year. That went, it was December before we were using it, and it's still green as the day you made it when you uh, start giving it the cows, and they love it. So uh, that's what we're going to do with that. Bit of a shame because there's a nice crop out there, you know, good amount, but never mind. We're going to get these silage picked up. If this showery weather continues, it's the time to uh, do grain stores and indoor jobs and you know jobs you don't want to do when it's really hot so that's what we'll be doing it's never nothing to do <laughs> See you coming now, Keithy boy. Hey. They are bright. They make your eyes hurt. He's done yeah, he's done the tether. Got the front ones as well, look. Bloody hell. I know, it's gonna look a bit overkill. We bought a load of these um, LED lights. I'll show you. They, uh, they make a difference on the road. You would have probably heard me talking about them before. So we've been sticking them, we haven't done this tractor. 
I don't know why we're not, I don't know if we're going to do that one. But uh, anything that sticks out in the road or is slightly a little bit dodgy on the road, we've been putting lights on them. You have a look. look. And they're, they're, they're ultra bright, so you, you drive this right down the road, you get it on the main road, Christ, people just, I don't know if they don't see you or don't think, but with them lights on, it sort of blasts them in the face, so they have to, they have to see it. It just slows them up, keeps everybody safe, and prevents having an accident. So the tractors have got them on, and, and they make a difference. So we, uh, for 20 quid, they're 20 quid a unit, so one unit is 20 quid. But it might be the difference of having an accident or not. Anyway, we've got a puncture on one of the tractors, so we've got two, two newish tyres on the same ones. So we're going to put, basically, we're going to put the new set of tyres on one tractor and the old set on the old tractor. Uh, pointless having one good tyre on each tractor, so that's what we're up to. It's a piss what happened. A lot easier than we were doing it. That little feature there, just to be able yeah, to turn, turn it, it. don't know yeah. make a bloody difference. Do they not all have that? No. No, you just roll them and roll them, yeah. you know, you just catch them. You've got to do them manually, like. <clears throat> but that's a bloody simplest little yeah. design, that's... Uh, it works a bloody tree. Well, it saves your threads as well, doesn't it? That's the main of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you haven't put... supposed to be impact on it. Quite one of them before, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's actually strong that gun, isn't it? All sorts of it, mate, I'll get another one. Them BKTs are nice, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Where's my bar? That tractor tyre changer makes life so much easier. In 10 minutes, this tractor, which is the newer tractor, has got uh, a good set of brand new tyres and uh, the older tractor there, that's got a matching set of used tyres and it saves two tractors having lopsided tyres. So that's worked a treat. We're down outside the farm here. This is the uh, one of the straw stacks from last year. We're just trying to uh, clear it up a little bit. There's some old, old straw bales here that we're just going to burn and there's some uh, there's some decent ones but there's a hell of a load of ruts where we were taking straw off it last year so yeah we're just getting it squared up a little bit we'll get the power power run through here we'll get this all rolled flat and it will uh, it'll look a picture at the end but um, we had about 16 mil of rain last night and it's just you know softened the top a little bit so I'm gonna get some of these out of Keithy's way. The good ones we'll keep and stick up the side of the uh, straw stacks. And then anything with a burst, a burst net on it, we'll get. We'll get um, burnt. the perfect job but um, once we've got power through it it, will, it leaves it pretty level after that and when we start bringing straw in the next year these will sit up the side they get used in the outside clamp for the uh, cows so none of it gets wasted 
as long as it's got a net around it, we can use it. Keithy's cleaned that pad off and we've got rid of some horrible straw. Um, anything without a string on it is a bit bit useless for us. Look at my fork there. <laughs> my fork's on fire. <laughs> Go and put it out. Bit of straw stuck on there, I suspect. We're a bit more tidied up down here now. It looks a bit more uh, acceptable. It was getting a bit of a mess down here. We're gonna go and try and dry this hay off now. It's only gonna be cow hay. We're gonna round bale it. It's the cheapest way for us to uh, get it baled up. Uh, it's not gonna be our best, we know that, but we have gotta get it dry. We've got two dry days, one nice day, and tomorrow's a dry day. So we, we need to go and move it to try and get it dry all the way through before we bail it on Friday. Looking like it might be a nice day on Friday, so hopefully if we can get it dry enough, we can uh, bail it up and uh, yeah, get that sorted out. Uh, we're not looking to cut anything. We're not gonna cut anything more until we uh, see some more settled weather, because next week doesn't look that great either, so. But we've got some grain stores we've got to clean out and uh, we've got a few different jobs we've got to get on with anyway, so. But uh, we'd like to keep, uh, we'd like to get back on with it if we could. We're back out in the hay fields. We're just tedding it. We, um, we don't, if, if we don't move it today, it, it, we fear it might not dry in time. Uh, it's Wednesday, it's currently Wednesday. We've got a dry day tomorrow, so we'll have to come out here and ted it tomorrow. We may even end, end up tedding it twice tomorrow. Uh, this needs to be dry by Friday. Friday's looking like a nice, good, sunny day and we're gonna try and cover the rest of this. I think there's probably about 40 acres worth to come in, 35, 40 acres, something like that. Not a great, great deal, but there's a thick crop here as well. It's not gonna be um, nice hay anymore. You can see it, I, I think you can see it from the uh, thing there. It's got brown tinge to it. The smell would have changed on it. So now it's going to be round bale cow hay, which we will stack up and put a sheet over like the uh, straw, and we will feed it the cows when they come in. And then when they have calves, we will feed them the nice silage because that's when we want them to, uh, you know, we want them to feed the calves well, and we want them to uh, have a good, good food and get back in order to get back in calf again. So this will do them very well, actually, and it will uh, it will mean we won't have to make so much silage. Silage costs a little bit of money because you have to wrap it and the plastics are quite expensive. So this will actually be very cheap cow food. And it's just what it is. We would have liked to put it in small bales, but uh, it didn't happen like that this time. And that's the battle we've always got every year. We have having so much to do. You're always battling the weather. Uh, you don't get it right all the time. On a dry year like last year, it's easy. It's not a problem. On a, on a year where it uh, showers about, here, there and everywhere and the weatherman can't decide what it's going to do and uh, so <laughs> it's just the English weather for you. But we're going to wait now until we see a better spell come along before we start making any more. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be back at it so yeah. Anyway I'll show you us round bailing this up on Friday on the next video. Yeah make sure you like and subscribe. Four Winds merch is down in the description Hats, t-shirts, and ooh, uh, what else we've got in there? All sorts. Have a look down there for those. Yeah, we will catch you on the next one. Cheers. Just before we go, I just got to show you Keithy's rig. That looks mental, doesn't it? <laughs>